Stunning photos reveal first look at Buckingham Palace Christmas decorations. Christmas decorations have been going up in homes up and down the country, including at Buckingham Palace. A tweet shared on the royal family's official Twitter account announced the arrival of the Christmas trees with the message Christmas arrives at Buckingham Palace. The message was accompanied by a video of the stunning trees and glistening decorations. And as you would expect, the Queen's Christmas trees do have a regal theme. And of course there's more than one. This year the large trees that flank the entrance of the palace have been decorated with mini crown-shaped baubles and white twinkly fairy lights. The grand staircase, meanwhile, has been adorned with brightly colored baubles and garlands. The grandest tree of all is the 15-feet Norman fir tree from Windsor Great Park that stands in the Marble Hall. Two smaller trees, standing at a relatively paltry 10 feet, are positioned either side of the grand entrance. The festive decorating comes as the Queen was spotted at the Goring Hotel in Belgravia, London for her staff's annual Christmas party. Looking full of festive cheer, her Majesty stepped out in a magenta skirt suit as she celebrated in the luxurious hotel. As she left the bash she was spotted with a present in her hands. For the royal family, Christmas really begins with the Queen and Prince Philip traveling to Sandringham the week before, usually around the 19th December. The Queen usually takes public transport from King's Cross to Norfolk, with pictures of her boarding the train shared each year. The rest of the family joins them on Christmas Eve, and the night is spent together for a formal dinner. Meghan Markle is set to be at the Queen's pre-Christmas lunch where she will be introduced to Prince Harry's extended family. Men wear black tie suits and women wear gowns, jewelry and tiaras. Gifts are exchanged on Christmas Eve, not Christmas Day, as is the German tradition, the family are of German descent and are said to like to try and weave some elements into their celebrations. Christmas Day starts with a walk to St. Mary Magdalene Church with a service lasting around 45 minutes. As for Christmas Day lunch, former royal chef Darren McGrady has revealed exactly what the family enjoy. Speaking to GoodHousekeeping.com, he said, After church, that's when they have a big lunch that includes a salad with shrimp or lobster, and a roasted turkey, and all of your traditional side dishes like parsnips, carrots, Brussels sprouts and Christmas pudding with brandy butter for dessert. They stick with the same meal year after year. After their meal, they watch the Queen's speech, before enjoying afternoon tea with Christmas fruitcake. In the evening, they feast on a buffet with the chefs carving at the table. Amongst all the traditions, there is one unusual element to the buffet. The buffet, 